Let me get this. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are kidding up a project and I uh, wanted to do this live so I could talk with you guys but apparently I don't meet the requirements. Um, which I didn't even know about. I thought anyone could go live but apparently you need a thousand subscribers and a bunch of other things that I don't meet the requirements for it. So that's okay. I'm going to record it and I'm going to talk and hang out with you guys and maybe do like a answer some questions. Um, multitasking is not a skill of mine. So we shall see how well this goes with trying to do a kit up uh, with the Doris Ward. I believe that's how you say it. Um, storage system. I've only used it one other time. So we shall see how it goes. But to the fun stuff. Let's see. Don't you fail on me now. Hey, you stay up there. Is that good? Can you see okay? I think so. What are you doing, Mom? I said, what are you doing? Oh, thank you. Uh, I don't have any 900s. Making a video, but it'll be in fast forward for this organizing part. Eh. You're doing it right now, video? Yeah. Oh. But when you fast forward it, there's no sound. Okay. 318, 434. Oh, there's a lot of 3000s in this one. That's a cool green. Yep. You're gonna sit and hang out? No, mm, Dave. Ah. Well, I just got three weekends and a closing, and he's gonna be in Texas for two weeks. And before closing, he's gonna be completely moved out. Right. So that's stressful. So he told me he's not stressed because he knows I'm helping him. Aww. He was super stressed when it came time to try to list it. I would imagine so. Clean up his place. But now that he's seen how that goes, he's like, I'm not, I'm not stressing about it. Or if he is, it's a lot less than it would be. Yeah. What size are these ones? Middle! Plus he's been on his men. That'll definitely help. Make such a mess. There's no right way. No wrong way. Well, I guess there's a wrong way to do things. There's a fridge is open. I hear it. There's a way that make your future life of the project wonderful. That's very true. There is a way that can make your future self have a worse time. All the 310. That's it. Uh -huh. Now these little ones, I always, well, the first time I had used it, I always worried about like spilling them when I would try and pour them back in. I could have cut the hole bigger. Did 
you imagine if I did all this and it's not in focus? It looks like it is. I really can't tell though. It's like best guess. One, two, three. All right, trash away. Now we're gonna go more into the threes and then into the fours. So I just kind of go down the line. Uh oh, there it is. And I peel it back and then cut it because I had cut a bunch of little ones with the backing still on and it was a pain in the butt to try and get the sticky off of it. So what are you, 318, you're a small one. So I've done lots of outdoor stuff. We're working on painting our deck to give it some new life and cleaning the pool, getting that ready. The dogs have enjoyed that being ready. Let's go. I almost wish they didn't have as many of the itty bitty ones and had more of these ones, but I'm just too stubborn to uh, buy more. Whee. help me cut them up? I don't think so. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I lost one. I saw that. Always. I like this blue. Do you like the blue? It's almost too baby bluish. Mm. This morning I couldn't figure out what was reflecting in my eyes from the window and it was coming perfectly from the chrome on your truck doors. I was like, what is blinding me? <laughs> that chrome package. Mm-hmm. It's great when I get out of the truck, I can just look in the chrome and check my hair, my face, my makeup. It's a perfect mirror. Right? I didn't think of it like that. I, I thought... don't think I can go without it ever again. <laughs> I thought of it as a blinding light in my eyeballs first thing in the morning, and I was like, what is happening? 4.15. E. 4.33, you're small too. Only tough thing about using containers that are different sizes is you have to like figure out which ones are good for what size. True. Yeah, I normally just stick them on all the containers and then sort them out afterwards, but... It needs to be a little bit more precise. Oh, that's a big one. Seventy-one. H. F is for friends who do stuff together. No, it's a SpongeBob song. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Of course it is. That's what the P. <laughs> Something. Bummed. I wanted to do this as a live video, but they have new requirements to do live videos now. It's a requirement? Yeah, you have to like meet a certain criteria to be able to go live. You have to have a thousand subscribers. Um. I was like, but I just want to talk to the few people. 414. Always worries me these bags that don't have much at all. I'm like one sneeze and I have none left. And you're dude. Are you gonna want that underneath the desk? I feel like you don't have a lot of room underneath the desk. I don't think I do either, but I think I can go next to the desk where I have the yeah, 
but I could put it right there where mm -hmm. the, what would you call that? Couch, couch table? Sofa table? TV tray? TV tray. That's the word. What would be your go-to summer comfort food? I'd have to say watermelon. You said comfort food. Yeah. But it doesn't mean it has to be hot. I asked Mary Beth that today and she said hamburgers and watermelon. Mary Beth is the dog groomer. Well, every time I eat, because when you eat out, they don't really have watermelon. Right. So when I eat out, it's coleslaw for my side. But do you think of eating out as comfort food? I don't know if I have a summer comfort food. I don't... Like... What would I go grab at the store? Like, what's a food that makes you happy? Aside from all food. <laughs> Ice cream Snickers bar. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. I yeah. wasn't sure what you were going to say with that face. Yeah, I don't do it often. That is a really good one. It's not a lot of dairy in it. But it's so it's good. It's still ice cream and it's oh my got the caramel and the nuts and the chocolate. Yeah. It's like a little slice of heaven. Yeah. Now, if only they could make it like Bite hazelnut size. nuts. Oh, hazelnut. Instead of peanuts. Ah. Uh, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'm going to make one. We could call it Premier. Premier? Premier. Snickers ice cream bar. I feel like we'd still get in trouble for calling it Snickers. I want them to sell half size ones. We'll call it Knickers instead of Snickers. <laughs> I think of horse, but I feel like a lot of people would think of pants. Right. <laughs> Be like, why did you name an ice cream after underpants? Oh no, did I pick the wrong? I'm headed out. Darn it. Okay, I love you. Have fun. Have fun and then go get fed and fat again. Yay! Yay. Maybe bring home some Snickers. <laughs> oh, sorry though, you said I pushed you out. Is that why they sounded upset? I was eating food. You shut them out. That's okay. I might put all this in. Just hear us talking about underwears and ice cream. What better fun is that? Okay. Six, nine, nine. That's a big one too. I'm trying to keep an eye out for the double ones because they have like an extra large one. Which... I feel like you gotta put this in a small, small one. That's it. It's going in this one. I already unstuck it and restuck it once. That's such a pretty color. So pretty. Mm. Mm-hmm. I love the bright colors. I cannot wait to see what this looks like done. And I'm pretty sure it's, I know it's definitely wider than the princess ones, but it's not as long and there's, I know there's going to be a lot of confetti, so that'll be interesting. Daisy, what are you fussing about? of having a really tall dog. Can you see him? I... The benefits of having a tall dog is he can reach all your food all the time. Okay, what numbers are next? 700s. Where are my 700s? Are you helping me? Let me move you back down. Oh, not that far. What? Hang on. 
Let me tighten you. Oh, 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 it's here. Okay. Hang on. It's going for a ride. Is that good? Is that where you were before? I don't know. I'm sorry. So how is everybody doing? I would love to know how you are all getting on with this. Well, I've been having really good weather. Really, really good weather. Our pool's cleaned out. The dogs have been eyeballing it. I finally went in it today. It was probably 80 degrees outside today. And I was like, yeah, that's definitely hot enough for me to go into the pool. The pool's still pretty cold, but all of our dogs, I have a rule, they have to know how to get into the pool safely and out of the pool safely. Um, we don't really ever leave them in the yard without someone out there, even though it's a fenced in yard. But they, uh, my black lab loves to dig. And also where we do have the in-ground pool, I just rather would not leave them out there with nobody around. So, but it's just in case, you know, one dog falls in, starts panicking, and then I'm gonna see if this one will fit in there. We're gonna test something out together, shall we? Um, I'd just rather, I feel better knowing that they know how to get in and out of the pool properly. Um, so the puppy had her first swimming today. She's been playing in the kiddie pool that I set up um, so she could get used to water and playing in it. And she's been like, hanging out at the very edge of the pool on the steps, like on the shallowest step and scratching at it and digging and playing in the water, but she wouldn't go any further. And the other dogs have been in and out of the pool. So she was able to watch them playing around. And I was like, all right, today's the day. So I went in and it was maybe 72 degree weather water. It was pretty, pretty chilly. Um, but she went right in. She kind of tried to like walk on the water at first and then she, you know, I was right there with her and she paddled beautifully. So then she went, you know, I brought her back up to the stairs, kind of just directed her as she was swimming to go up the stairs. She came right back in. We did that a couple more times and then she got the zoomies and was sprinting around the yard everywhere, which was hilarious because she wiped out a couple times. Dog's happiness is just so pure. It's that and kids, dogs and kids and cats. I know some people will probably disagree with me and be like, cats do not have pure happiness, but they do. Oh, <gasps> I put this in the wrong one. Hang on, see, I'm talking and I'm not paying attention. That's okay, I should put this in a smaller one anyways. So I keep thinking that they're gonna take up more space than they actually do. So. Oh, I spilled some, that was expected. It was only a matter of time before I spilled some more. The other thing with dogs that I have learned from the years and years of having dogs is positive reinforcement. You know, you want to reward them for doing good instead of always scolding them for doing bad. You know, when they're really little, if you catch them chewing something they shouldn't, you take it away, you tell them no, and then you give them a toy that they had on the floor right next to them that they could have been chewing on. And then when they start chewing on the toy, you say, good puppy, you know? You want to encourage the good behavior, not just reprimand the bad behavior. You know, dogs, dogs look for approval and rewards and happiness from people. So positive reinforcement is very, very important. 
Oh, I spilled another one. I spill them and then I forget that I've, or I think I found all them. And then I'm walking around and wonder what's stuck to my leg and it's one of these. I wonder if I can fit the third one in there. I feel like we might be able to. I'm gonna try it. I wonder what all this brown goes to. Maybe the roof and the bridge? I don't know. Painting doesn't look like it has that much brown, but there's quite a bit. I found a website on Facebook that is pretty dangerous and it's called um, something de-stashing, like diamond painting de-stashing and people are selling their kits that they had purchased or even like diamond painting pens or patty wax, you know, when they got too many of them and then didn't know what to do with it. And there are some pretty good deals on there. But there are also a lot that are, oh, here's the green one. Ah, here it is. Um, there's a lot of them that are double-sided adhesive, um, kind of quality that you'd find like on AliExpress, which I don't care for double-sided adhesive. It was one of the first kind of canvases I had worked on and it gave me a really hard time. And I just haven't tried it again because I love poured glue. I like the way it works. I like the way it holds the drills. I like the way I don't have to worry about it being rolled up and getting damaged or peeling the, you know, cover off and having it come away with the cover. So it's like, if I like it so much and I had an experience with double side tape, why wouldn't I just stay with what I know I like? Plus I try to make sure I don't have too many sitting waiting to get done, which I fail at, but. So yeah, I'll see if I can I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'll see if I can find the link and post it down below. I know the last couple of videos I did, they weren't edited at all. And it's just because my computer's been giving me a real pain in the butt lately. Plus they were shorter ones, so they I didn't really feel like they needed all that much editing. But this one probably will because like when I organized all of these I'll probably um, fast forward that because nobody really wants to watch that and not hear any talking. I mean, I might. I like the sound of kidding up in diamond painting. I find it to be very relaxing, almost therapeutic. I don't know if anyone else agrees with me. Did, um, no, I didn't miss that. Okay, what are you? Uh, 3,064. Am I just gonna guess what size you are? Cause I can't find you. Somebody, t there it is. I was gonna say, somebody tell me where it is. Can't find it. And the bag that these come in all of these, like that big one with one side that's sticky that you roll them in. I keep that open and I just pour all the empty bags in it and that way it rolls up real nice to go in my recycling. So I'm a messy person by nature and I do not need help making a mess. 9.38. I got a new scratch art thing too and I really enjoy doing scratch art when I don't want to sit down and commit to at least an hour of doing something. Um, but it's freaking messy and it like the dust that comes off of the scratch art, it must have some kind of static to it because I kept trying to wipe it off of my desk and it was rolling to the edge of the desk and like sitting in this little groove that I have in here. So anytime I would lean on it, I'd get covered in I don't know what you call that. It looks like charcoal. 
but I got a mandala one, which is nice, but it's very repetitive, obviously, because a mandala is, would you say, symmetrical? So you do one section like this big, and then you have eight more of those to repeat that are the exact same thing, which gets a little boring for me. So I like the nature ones more that are more interesting, but this is also the most confetti heavy one I've ever done before. So I know some people love confetti. I love the detail that comes with it. And some people hate the confetti. I would love to know what you guys love or if you've tried it or not tried it, but I thought I was going in double whammy. I was going confetti heavy and square. So I was like, why not? I missed something. Oh, there's two of these. Oh, that's not going to fit in there. It's okay. We're going to have an extra bag. Hopefully. Okay. Wow, those are so close together, but they're, I don't know, it might just be my eye color, but those look super close together. Not my eye color. How my eyes see color? Words. Okay. Um, there's more brown. There's a lot of brown and a lot of taupey browns. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, just trying to see if I can match as many up as possible so I can tell what one needs a really big container, what one doesn't need a big container. Okay, so those, those are about even. I'll say one of those, and one of those, and one of these. Okay, who's ready for the final stretch? Should I turn you guys up so you can say hi to my face? I don't know. I feel like no one would want to say hi to my face because the exciting part is here, but. Will this fit in there? Mm. Now I'm gonna put it in a bigger one. Are there more colors than I have thingies? You guys, I might not have counted properly for colors. I might have to use some of my extra Harbor Freight ones. Eh. Okay, there we go. Phew. Three, three, two, five. You need to be a normal sized one. Three, three, four, six. Also another normal size one. I really am gonna run out of storage containers. That's a bummer. There you are. I wonder if I'm just too over? I don't know. I do not know. Oh, thank goodness. So I don't, sorry for pausing, but that symbol is normally what the white AB is. And I saw this and I was like, but I already put away the white AB. And then I realized it was for this pink color. And I was like, dear Lord, do not tell me they have the same symbol with one with a white background and one with a slightly pink background. But of course they didn't, because they're good. Three, eight, one, nine. That will not fit in there. Three, eight, three, seven. Uh -huh. Okay, that's a small one. That's good. 
All right, let's put some of these away so I can figure out which ones our last ones are gonna be in. It's really hard to talk and focus and get up at the same time. I think I'd seen Rachel do it and she was saying it was pretty tough. She was not kidding. But we're gonna make it. Might be boring by the end, but we will make it. That's a really cool color. I can never tell if it's focusing. Some people, I don't know how certain YouTubers and video people do it. Well, they probably have the phone facing more towards them so there's not a huge glare so you can see if it's focused or not. Or maybe they just have really, really nice cameras. That's always an option too. I just have my iPhone. It definitely has been madness with claims lately for work. It seems it was really, wow, that's really full. Cool. It was really slow for a while because nobody was driving, nobody was on the road, and it seems like things are, you guys just see those go flying? Let me see if I can grab them. Well, there's one. Ah, here's the second one. They jumped. I do like how nicely these close. Three, three, four, six. Watch it be like only one that I don't have space for. <laughs> that would be my luck. I was thinking like, great, this will be perfect. It's like the right amount. There's a lot of colors in this and this one holds a lot of colors, but that's also not very scientific. And this one's a pink, pinkish nude. It almost, it's like the same skin color for a lot of the other princesses that I've done. There's a second one that needs to go on that. It's gonna be full. And it's gonna be a tight one. Barely room to supply, I guess there's some room. It's still really snug fit. Okay, let's see. What other ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh, we're gonna have enough. What? Would you look at that? I was not expecting that. Unless I'm missing stickers. One goes into a big one. Oh, let go of my finger. And the last sticker. Okay. It'll be 38 minutes. That's how long it's taken me so far to kid up. It's not that bad. Not that I've ever timed myself before, but. I did cheat though, I pre-cut these earlier today. I should have pre-cut out all the stickers, but I guess that's really what you have to do in the middle of kidding up to tell 
what size goes where. That's one nice thing about if they're all the same size containers, you don't have to think, well, okay, well, I need to put this sticker on this one because, you know, these few of drills will fit in here. But I do love these containers. And even the tray they come in is really sturdy. Highly recommend. And Amazon is pretty much two-day shipping, so you can't really go wrong with that. I think this one might have been like four days, but that was a while ago. That was before 2020 started. Need I say more? Oh, 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 oh. There was something that me and my dad talked about. I need to look at you to tell you this. We were talking about, I love to know the origin. Oh, you're still moving. Sorry. Um, I love to know the origin of where words or phrases or sayings come from. And also to know if they're regional, you know, like if they belong to a certain place, um, like um, April showers bring May flowers. I want to know if other people, and I've heard from people, you know, that were all the way out in California. No, we've heard of that saying before. So that was really cool. I just spilled some, but I wanted to know where the saying pain in my butt comes from or pain in my neck. Like did the chicken or the egg come first kind of deal, which one came first. But my thought was back when people had to use horseback as a mode of transportation, I grew up riding horses and the rougher the terrain and the harder the horses have to work to get up or down hills, the rougher it can be on your butt. So I was thinking when they were traveling or going somewhere or moving cattle, you know, through rough terrain, they would say, man, that was a pain in my butt. And then it just became a saying. But when I looked it up, the only thing I could find was after World War II. So if anybody has an idea as to where that saying came from, I would love to know because it's something I'm really curious about, but maybe I'll keep you tilted up here. I want to look at the other side office. Is that good? Is that okay? Okay. I think it's okay. Plus I only have three left to do. Um, but yeah, I just, I love to know where things started. Where did they originate from, you know? Where did that saying come from that stuck through so many generations? And then it's just something we use every day without even thinking about it. It's like my generation, and I know there are a lot of generations um, that have really a hard time with loving their bodies and loving themselves. And I find it really sad. And I don't think this is a new problem. I don't think that there was ever an era recently within our parents or grandparents that they genuinely loved themselves and they didn't feel any kind of outward pressure, pressure from people outside um, to look a certain way or want to look a certain way. I feel like that's been something constant that's always been there people have always had that especially women and it's brutal especially now with all the photoshopping and editing that you can do even normal people can do that they post their own photos and you know they always wish like oh I wish I was thinner or oh I wish I had more curves or my hair was thicker or my eyes were a different color or my teeth were straighter or whiter like think for a minute how amazing it is that your body does so many things without you even thinking about it. You are literally your own self-working machine that brings you from point A to point B, grabs things for you, you know, brings you to where you want to go. You can smell things outside. You can, you know, eat and breathe and digest food. And that's all stuff your body does. So, the fact that people are so hung up on the exterior of their body, I understand because that's what everybody sees, but it's important to take a step back and remember the stuff that we don't see, that our body's doing for us every single day, even when we're sleeping, you know? It's doing something for us 
every single day. And I think it's important to appreciate that and love your body for the fact that you can move around and you can do things and you are alive. Like wake up in the morning and think I'm alive. Today's a good day. You, you woke up, you're breathing, you know, you're going to go eat some yummy breakfast. Like that's a good day. And it's just really sad and really hard. And, you know, even I had a hard time with it trying to love myself and accept, you know, my flaws that I see. Because truthfully, you might see your own flaws, but other people are not going to pay attention to those. <laughs> you can see things on yourself that you're like, whoa, that is bothering me so much. But other people are never even going to notice about you. They're going to notice your confidence and your happiness. You know, the joy that you bring to the situation in everyday life. So if you're feeling, I'm spilling these all everywhere. Just don't look. It's a good thing you can't see. Um, what was I saying? So if you feel down or out or sad or you know somebody that is or, you know, feels like, I'm not happy with the way I look. I don't want to get clothes. I don't want to wear a bathing suit. Screw all that. Do what you want to do. You know, you want to sit outside and soak up some sunlight. Go for it. You know, that your body is incredible. All the things that it does, even if you wanted to, I'm sure you could, I don't know how accurate they all are, but you could Google facts on amazing facts about the human body, amazing facts of what it does for you. I just think it is so cool and incredible. And it's sad that, you know, not everybody looks at that or thinks about it because it's not what you see every day. It's something we almost take for granted because we do most of it without even thinking. You're like, oh, I'm thirsty. I'm going to reach for this cup, grab it and drink it. You know, it's all those little things that your body does for you and provides for you. It's, you are perfect just the way you are. And I know that's cliche, but you are alive. That is more rewarding and incredible than any flawless photo of someone could ever say. The fact that you can do things on a day-to-day -day basis, that you wake up, you know, that you're here listening or watching this video. That's amazing. It really is. And I think so many people, photoshopping and stuff is not fair because it gives, especially young people, a bad or false opinion as to what they could look like on a daily basis. Like those people that look like professional models and stars, I can guarantee you they do not look like that when they wake up out of bed. And if they say they are, I'm sure they're lying because I look like I have a lion afro and I have sleep lines all over my face every morning. You know, that's, you don't wake up with a full face of glam and your hair perfectly curled or straightened. And if you do whatever jeans you have that make it like that, I'm, je I'm jealous. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna get to the organizing part. Sorry about my serious rant. If you've made it this far, hello, thank you. I appreciate you. I really do. Cause I, you know, put a lot of effort into these videos. It takes a while to record them or set up or even a lot of times I record them and I don't like them and then I re-record them. So the way that I'm going to do this is by symbols. Um, so per example, I'm going to start with numbers. One, two, four, nine. Um, can I move this so you can see it? Ah ha ha ha! Sorry. Okay, and then we're going to do like plus, minus, equals those symbols, if they even have any. Okay, so... I got those. 
What other symbols? There we go. There's that one. We've got this weird looking glass thing. We've got one of these arrows. We've got another weird little bobbly bit. We've got one of those. Um, this. Arrows. Arrows. This one. A dot. There's another arrow. There's another one. And that one. Okay, then we're on to, oh crap, there's another arrow. Hang on. There we go. Okay, all right, I got that. And we'll do this last one up here. Then we'll do the alphabet. And this weird dot thing. That dot can go over there, I guess. Yeah. Um, a... Nope, that won't fit. Sorry, I'm thinking through it. All of those make sense. Does that fit in there? Yes, it does. Okay, all right. E, C, F. Oh, no. I have a three that I missed. We'll do a weird hourglass symbol. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, K, L, N, O, P, Q R S T U E S and X. Ah, in my spare baggie. Ta da! Isn't that wonderful? Beautiful. All the colors. And then. You put this nice lid on top. Only thing is it's so close, you can't really put any like diamond painting pens in here with it, but that's that. So without further ado, I will let you guys go and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. Like a bird on a tree